Come at the tip. Man, anything to do on a Saturday morning? Hope no one else is there. Hope I'm the only person that's got nothing better to do. Okay. Yep, van out of crap. Oh, wish me luck. Hey Google, stop. It's Saturday morning, it's raining. Looks like we've got a day in the house ahead of us. We're halfway through the Easter holidays and the kids are well and truly in hibernation mode. Whenever we have a long school holiday, they just get to the point where they're so happy just lazing around the house. It's a real struggle to get them to actually get up and get dressed in the morning, which is okay for a couple of days, but after a while you start to feel quite like you just wanna I don't know, you just need everybody to be up and ready to go, but it's such a mission to get out the door. So Marnie's having a nap, Dan has popped to the tip to take some rubbish up there, and I've just been around making the beds and things like that. Aiden is sat in the kitchen with me on his iPad, playing Roblox apparently. Dylan is on his PS4 and Merrin is doing her homework, which she's been doing for the last two days. She's getting really into it, which is nice. I'm absolutely starving, so I think I'm gonna make some bacon and avocado and poached egg. But before I do that, if you follow me on Instagram, you will already have seen the excitement of a delivery that came yesterday. But for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you this. This is my new favorite thing in the whole world. It arrived yesterday. I have wanted one of these fridges for years. That is what we were using as our fridge for the past two weeks. That's our camping cool box. Now it has been replaced by this and I couldn't be happier or more excited about it. We went for the 70-30, so the big fridge on the bottom and the freezer on the top. It's actually, there's nothing in this at the moment, but it's actually a decent sized freezer. It's bigger than I thought it would be. So literally all we've got, which Marin insisted on doing as soon as it arrived, was fill the ice cube tray. We've got a big chest freezer as well, which is in the utility area, or at least it will be soon. So that is enough freezer space for the kitchen. And then we've just had a Tesco delivery. So this is looking, well, not full, but we've got some stuff in it. I'm just so excited to have a new, clean, organized fridge. Absolutely over the moon with that. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back to the Across my face, we 
used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. Daydream of and me. Take me back, all the way back to them days. Running around in a gown and a crown. Trampoline is wet, but we're heading out for a walk before it rains again. And we just had a nice little um, rock out to, to ooh, had a little rock out to some tenacious D in the kitchen, didn't we? Thanks, Moom. Yo, welcome. Look at the baby. She is a rabbit. She has a Peter rabbit, no less. Me and my very grubby trainers are off out for a walk. Can you muster an element of happiness? Stop putting the camera on the busy corner. I'm filming Daddy's motorists. Make sure they're being responsible. <laughs> Where do you have the bunny bunny? Don't get the bunny! Don't get the bunny! Keep the bunny in the ground. just got back from a walk we actually stopped at my mum's house for a cup of tea and now we're going to have fajitas everybody's hungry especially the fraggle fraggles get extra mischievous when they're hungry I have to duck because our house has a low doorway but the kids are everyone fancy fajitas for tea I love books you love books it's not what I asked why do you need a laptop and... Oh, it's easy with your Maggie Weggy. And Charlotte. There, sh there is one leg in a room for Charlotte. Oh, cool. Hi, girls. <laughs> you having fun up there, little one? Yee. Zooming in, not flattering. That's better. So Dan is off out this evening for a couple of drinks for just a couple of hours so I'm going to use that time wisely and watch the Kardashians because I never get to watch it when he's here so I'm really looking forward to that and have a glass of wine or two. <laughs> I'm not sure who's enjoying that more. Actually no I totally am. Looks like dinner clock to me.
fajitas were delicious. But now somebody is very tired, aren't you? You ready for bed? You ready for snooze? Dan will be heading off out in about 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to get you into your clean pajamas because you've got biscotti crumbs all over you. Get the other kids ready for bed and in their onesies and then I'm going to sit down with a nice glass of wine. God damn it. Dan just came upstairs to say that he fell asleep in the chair while I was getting Marnie off to sleep and now he's knackered and doesn't feel very well so he's not gonna go out. So now I can't watch the Kardashians. Well I could. I could come upstairs and watch the Kardashians but bloody hell. I was quite looking forward to my couple of hours in front of the TV. I have to watch a movie with him now. <laughs> Sorry Dan if you're watching this but really really wanted to watch the Kardashians or RuPaul's Drag Race either one and I would have been over the moon. Never mind. On another note, the fajitas were delicious, but does anyone else find that you go in full of enthusiasm and feel like you can eat loads because you're absolutely starving and you're really, really enthused about the fajita situation and then literally one down and I'm done. I find them so filling and then I force myself to have another one because, you know, you, you should. And then I feel so full, so sick, and so full of regret that I've had the extra fajita. So there's, there's a lesson in there somewhere. They were really yummy, but they just fill me up so quick. I think it must be the tortillas. Something about Mexican food, like even um, enchiladas. Because of the flour tortilla, I get really full really quick. Not sure why I'm sharing that with you, but let me know if you can relate because I suppose it's kind of like Chinese food and you get really hungry again within like half an hour. Anyway, Marnie's asleep, I've just put her down. Aiden is in his bed, pretty much drifting off to sleep. He's really excited because he's just found out that his best friend from school is able to make it to his birthday party, which is next week. So he is absolutely over the moon about that. So now I just need to get the big two up to bed. They're already in their pajamas because whenever we're not out of the house, they pretty much, the first thing they do is put on their onesies. So I'll just get them upstairs to do their teeth. And yeah, then I'm gonna pour myself that glass of wine that I've been looking forward to for the last two hours. Someone woke up. You were asleep a minute ago. What happened? What happened? Oh well, at least we got wine. 